How many of you have this book? You know, today, many claim that they have their Bibles on their phone, on their iPad, their laptops. I like this hard copy very well. One of the greatest confusion online all over the place is trying to explain this book by logic. There is no university that can teach God. No institution. You go through the social media, people are trying to explain this Bible by common sense. This book can never be old until Christ come. This book, the Bible says, they are new every. Let me show you one of the mysteries in this book. The mysteries of seed. Just listen. How many of you have ever come across an orange, a mango? Do you realize that everything God created embedded in it is seed? When you are walking on your orange, enjoying the liquid, those whitish substance seeds in that orange you threw away. You didn't throw an orange away, you threw away a tree. Because for one orange seed, is a tree. Same with mango. What that simply means, for everything inside it is a seed. God created Adam and Eve. Is that correct? There was no record in scripture that he went back again to mold man. And to breathe into man. Is that record there? Why? As soon as Adam was created. The whole of humanity was in Adam. Even when God wanted Eve. He had to make Adam sleep. And bring out Eve. From what he already made. So in the manufacturing sector. You have prototype. If a company wants to do a new design of a car, they just need a prototype. Now, once they get that first one right, they now must produce. Why am I sharing this? It means for every money I get, there is a seed inside. I don't know if I'm communicating with someone. For everything God gives me, there is a seed. Now, Isaiah 55, I'm coming back to praise, but I want to lay foundation. Isaiah 55 and verse 10, watch this. For as the rain cometh down and the snow from heaven, and returneth not thither, but watereth the earth, and maketh it bring forth and bore. That he may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater. This principle is universal. To one, he gives to reproduce. Another, he gives to be comforted. 
Do you understand what I'm saying? For all of you who have parents, before your father met your mother, you were your father. After they got married, they downloaded you. So, this is a mystery. Now, listen. If you don't approach the kingdom as a mystery, you can't be a master of circumstance. As simple as the gospel is, embedded in the gospel are kingdom mysteries. How many of you understood what I just did? In 2 Chronicles chapter 20, if you read verse 20, 21, 22, now, does it make sense to engage an army with weapon, with singing? That's part of the mystery I'm teaching you. Because this kingdom life is not an ordinary life. On Friday 7 a.m., I was in one flight coming to Benin. It's very long time I experienced that level of turbulence. It was good coming, the weather was bad. After some time, the aircraft started dropping. There was a young man sitting, I was just, because I was laughing in the aircraft, one guy who was on my left, he later told me that he's a brother to one of our pastor's wife. And I said, if you know I'm here, why are you shaking? <laughs> I just know that for my sake, it will be on the angel's wing. Can I tell you something? If you don't arm yourself with mysteries. You can't conquer in this terrain. In 2 Chronicles, and when they have consulted with the people, how can you appoint singers against armies? Sir? How can you appoint singers against army? This is one of the kingdom mysteries. This book is not biology. This is not philosophy or else you will suffer. This book is not psychology. This book is not physics. It's not a love motion. It's not aerodynamics. That is why Jesus said you must receive the gospel like a baby. Children don't ask questions. That is why those who speak too much English don't go far with God. When you are too anal analytical, you are heading towards paralysis. And he appointed singers unto the Lord and that they should praise the beauty of his holiness. As they went out before the army, can you explain to me how people are faced with guns? They are singing. How, sir? It's a mystery. That is your mindset when you are dealing with the things of God. The con gone. He is able abundantly. Ka, ka, ka. They were still singing. <laughs> hey, Yakatamoko Sopradia. Mighty man of war, they conk again. Lion of Judah, <laughs> we bow down and worship you. They were conking God, God said, be singing. You know why you are where you are? You are analyzing God. You are trying to reason God from your human logic. I'm 45, not married. Look, those things annoy God. Because he can organize your wedding in two days. You can meet, a, but I know you won't believe. You can meet a man on Monday married by Wednesday. 
Now, now, when you are operating in senses, this is August. To you, the year has ended. How can the year end without misery? There are some unfinished business. There are things that must be finished. There are testimonies I can't carry over. Hey, Maneta, Lekusa, Banoto, Sikaba, Renono, Nokoti, Prania. Is somebody connecting? And the appointed singers praise against army. And to say, praise the Lord for his mercy. You are face to face with death. God said, just say, praise the Lord for his mercies endure it forever. How can you connect? Mystery. Leave social media. They are creating content so that YouTube can pay them. That's what they are doing. They just pick, as Azua said, this one said, it's to create content so that they can get paid. Anytime you listen to them, you are building their pockets. So they are saying rubbish so that they can get paid, sir. This thing is not sense. In case this one confuse you, go to Joshua 6.20. How can God tell his people? You have, look at walls, boundaries, and God is saying, just shout. He said, first, go around the wall for days. Go around the wall. Then after going around the wall seven times, then you go around the last day, then you shout. Look at what he said. I'm blue with a trumpet. Because... When I see some people like this gospel that is going on now, they say it's Christology, all these, all kinds of things going on in the kingdom. Sir, if the Old Testament was not needed, they won't leave it. God is not foolish. If the Old Testament was not relevant to us, they won't put it there. The New Testament is a fulfillment of the old. He said, just shout. Can I tell you something? If you want to go far with God, you have only one job. Say one job. Obedience. It's not covenant. It doesn't appeal to senses. Obedience. All of you sitting leaders, ministers, Obedience is tough, but obedience is to make you. And as they shouted, he said they should blow the trumpet. And the people shouted with a great shout. What happened? The wall came down. Who pushed the wall down? How did it come down? Now, what is causing delays in your life is your argument. You are arguing with instruction. The war came down. The war came down. The war came down. The war came down. I walked into a house in Lagos where somebody was sick and dying. An instruction was downloaded from heaven. Take a glass of water. Pray into the water. Give the person to drink. This time the person had become skeleton. Tiny. After that prayer, I traveled. In three weeks when I came, flesh had come back. How do you explain that? One of the questions I have asked critics of the gospel. Are you saying God is on holiday? Are you saying God cannot give children? He cannot bless? He can't do this? If that is who he is, why do I need him? Once the Lord has spoken to us, I heard that power belongs to God. Now, what is the approach this morning? Praise is not a church program or routine. It's a kingdom mystery 
in challenge. David says, seven times will I praise thee. Hebrews said, now bring the sacrifice of praise. So the same way money is sacrifice, praise is sacrifice. They, they now know me because I can't be in an aircraft and not sing. Oh, I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. I will sing. If you go back to 2 Chronicles 20, 22, the effect of their song, what now happened? As they began to sing. 21 was instruction, 22, as they, when they began to sing and praise, the Lord set ambushment, confusion. Can I pray for just 5,000 people online, on ground, Across 100,000 people connected to this voice. As you praise God the remaining days of this week. I declare confusion in that camp. Confusion in that board meeting. Confusion in that circle. Confusion in that place. Confusion in everywhere where they are trying to shortchange you. There shall be overturn in the precious name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. How I wish your amen can be louder than this. As they began to pray, the Lord said, Abushman, God confused their enemies. In verse 23, what happened in verse 23? Mystery. For the children of Ammon and Moab stood against the inhabitants of Mount Sinai, utterly to slay and destroy them. And when they had made an end of the habitation of Sai, everyone helped to destroy one another. They started fighting among themselves. Why? The mystery of praise. Now hear this. Praise is not just song. If you can't sing the song, talk the song. It's still praise. Salo da bire. Inubogo aragbara nai. Salo da bire oluwa. Eshe bitati bere. Eshe bite made. Wadu kwe o jesu. Ibite. Walk by me, no dame Walk by me, no dame Jesus. no even. Jesus, no rame yeke. song. To me, I just engage God. To you, you just sang a song. No! Jesus, you are
see this atmosphere? Anything can happen. You see this, what you just saw now? That is how to stay on course. It's a mystery. Anything you can explain, it's not God. That is what I know. Your next breakthrough can't be explained. Oh, no fair coming. My calling, my way of God. Oh, no fair coming. My calling, my way of God. can't pray. I'm not telling you not to pray. Some circumstance can make you lack words. But don't lack praise. Sometimes you don't even know what to pray. Just praise. That's how I function. Just praise. You can't be in this atmosphere. He inhabits the praise of his people. God in the midst of his people is mighty. When you lack praise, you lack God. All this Greek and Hebrew name of God is too complicated. You see, Elohim in Hebrew means this in Greek. It's too complicated. We don't need those long grammar. Just sing. Just praise him in the beauty of holiness. John the Baptist was in prison. He was complaining. Paul and Silas were in prison. They turned into praise. And the prison doors open. Lift up your right hand open. As the Lord God.
God liveth. On ground, online, connected to this service in different parts of the earth. As you praise God the remaining days of this month, Every locked door shall be open. Yeah. Every iron gate shall be lifted. Yeah. If that is you, can I hear your loudest? Say amen. amen. I have seen the Lord. You this is the He inhabits the praise of his people. God in the midst of his people is mighty. When you lack praise, you lack God. The reason for strife, the reason for this is because praise is God of your life. I don't know what to do. I praise him. In the midst of confusion, I praise him. You see me, 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 You see, Elohim in Hebrew means this in Greek. It's too complicated. We don't need those long grammar. Just sing. Just praise him in the beauty of holiness. John the Baptist was in prison. He was complaining. Paul and Silas were in prison. They turned it to praise. And the prison doors open. Lift up your right hand open. As the Lord God liveth. On ground. Online. 
connected to this service in different parts of the earth. As you praise God the remaining days of this month, every locked door shall be open. Every iron gate shall be lifted. If that is you, can I hear your loudest? Say amen. amen. Why people don't praise God in spite of this heavy duty presence? Benefit. Why? Number one is offenses. One of the things offenses does, it makes you heavy. You can't flow. You are full of offenses. You can't flow. And Jesus said, blessed is he that is not offended. Why? Offenses will surely come. Offenses. Who are you offended at? You are offended at the system? Offended at yourself? Offended at anybody? Please, put your heart of offenses and offload any human being that may have offended you. You know why? Whatever has happened, God allowed it. You know what Joseph told his brothers? I will nourish you. I won't be here if you didn't sell me. Do you know why I don't pay attention to Satan? Ask me why. He's working for God. Satan works for God. What's the scriptural backing? Satan told God that Job is serving him for things and obtain permission. To tempt him. Is that not working for God? At the end of the day, Job became mightier and stronger than the first estate. Offenses. Now hear this. Offenses does not mean you were not hot. It's you let go. Not that you were not pained. Don't get my message twisted. Now, sometimes to let go, you can cry. In your bedroom or when you are alone, you can share tears. And after that, you are vibrated. Now, let me say this. When people outside fight you, it's not as hurting and painful as those inside. When your defender become your oppressor, it's painful. One man left to speak for you, only for that man to come and say, uh, bros, you see, say the truth. I'm your friend, you know. Say the truth. I know you did it, but confess. Offenses. Now, when you are offended, you can't flow with songs. When you are offended, the heavens are short because inspiration of song comes from heaven. When the heavens are short, there can't be a flow. Number two is situation. Many people, because of what they are currently going through, they can't praise God. Joel 1 and verse 12 says, because men are not joyful, everything dries up. Lack of joy has made men wither away. Because joy is withered away from the sons of men. Calamities, catastrophes, because of lack of joy. There is no time you meet this prophet and I'm not joyful. Somebody called me on phone very close to me, dear to me, and said, I'm crying. What's the problem? I missed my flight. As basic as that is, you enter the next flight, 
Now let me tell you your approach about God. Whatever didn't happen is his will. Now, the first reaction to disappointment is thank you, Jesus. Are you following what I'm saying? Thank you, what? Jesus. Somebody very close to us. The daughter was going to school. And the bishop said to the mother, I need to pray for your daughter before she goes to school. So you will come to church after third service, I will pray for her. After third service, pastor became busy. The guy was telling the mother, oh, fly time, fly time. He said, you know we can't go. If the man of God says he wants to pray for you, by the time the man of God was done, they left all the road block on Sunday where you have free traffic in Abuja. As soon as they arrived at the airport, the plane was taken off. The guy was crying. 17 minutes later, news came. The plane had crashed. So, so, so plane. I mean, Dana plane, the last crash. Life testimony. Not that I read it. The family involved told me. And some of you in leadership, where you learn how to abide by instruction. Wait when you are supposed to wait. Don't be careless with your Christian work. Don't live like a man without guide or a man without rule. Don't be careless. When a church emergency sabanaco, our old church, and I said I was meeting with all the workers. That day I stood on the altar and I ordered that the doors should be locked. Nobody should leave. We used to have one young man in the history of this church. I'm yet to see a committed man like him. He was in the sound department. He literally sleeps church. There was a family meeting. They were calling him. Because he was at the extreme part of the church, extreme, there was one small door there. He passed through the door to go to family meeting in Airport Road. By 2 o'clock, they sent me his picture dead. He was involved in an accident. He died on the spot. That small door, that call was called to death. I don't know why people are not put together. Why people can't abide with simple instruction. Wait when you are supposed to wait. They won't. Careless life. That's why you have careless result. He passed. They say, Papa, he's too committed. You must raise him. I said, no, I didn't send him out of the church. Can't raise a man who left out of disobedience. Because I'm not in control of who is raised back from life. Now listen to this. Obedience saves us from destruction. Saves us from danger. Obedience. My busiest days are usually Mondays. One Monday I had dressed on my suit and I heard, don't leave home today. God spoke to me, he said, don't leave home today. <laughs> Sleep, could they catch me? I helped put my suit. My wife came in. I don't have to be explaining, God said no. The problem is that you want somebody to approve what God told you. He said, you want to, he said, hey, just rest, bow, rest, bow. It was like after one week, I said, don't ask me what would have happened. I don't know. I didn't go out. One of the dangers of Christianity today is that we have not learned trust in him. In all things, not in some things. Situation. Now, some situation can be so bad that, now let me tell you two things you must take note of. 
When you are going through critical time in your life, who counsels you is key. I know many people who have left ministries because of their wife. On the way they treat you, I don't like it. They, 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 they don't value you. Can I be very humble with you? Even me, as the president of Raqqa, I won't be missed. <laughs> Not to talk of small you. Let's rise. For the book of destiny to be open, you need to be lionic in your approach. Do you desire to build and stir up your faith through the instrumentality of God's word? There is nothing you have read in scripture that God cannot do now. Do well to subscribe to Pastor Charles Osazua on YouTube. Charles Osazua, a man sent by God. There is no man yet that has what it takes to help God. Like, comment, and turn on your notification button for more uploaded and live messages from God's servants. Many ladies have been trapped in marriages they know that God was not in it. But the guy was too flashy. He was speaking phonetics. Yeah, man, you see men, men, yeah, men. He said, anytime he calls me, he calls me angel. Ooh. Whereas something inside you is saying danger. Remember, spiritual empowerment is derived from the word of God. Stay tuned and connected. Not every door is opened by God. Some are trapped of destinies. Rakai, refining destinies.